What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Panthers Advice. Today, man, we're breaking down the Panthers and Vikings game. I'm a little bit late, but I've been going over the film the past couple days and honestly, I think they're on the right track. The key word in this video was all about timing, man. Let's jump into the film. First play right here, a little RPO screen to Adam T. Let's break down what I like about this play right here. So on this play, the first thing that I like is the RPO, right? Now, why do I like the RPO? Because it's gonna keep the mic right here in place. Take a look at what I'm talking about. If they don't run the RPO, it allows the mic to go from here to here to pick up the screen. Now watch what happens. They run the RPO right here, boom, boom. We allow Adam to go from here all the way out here. Now the mic has to come all the way out here just to pick up Adam. Hey man, so far play number one, man, looking good. Let's keep it going. Now we're going to jump to play number two, and this might have been my favorite formation, my favorite play, the routes, everything, man. Let's break down what I'm talking about. The first thing I love about this play is having Ian Thomas as a wingback, right? Allows extra pass protection for Bryce Young. I love that from the jump. But now let's talk about the play. Bryce's read right here is going to be the mic, all right? As you're going to see, the mic's going to pick up TMJ coming across. Take a look right here. The mic's going to pick up TMJ. Bryce sees that. Next read is going to be Adam right here. He's watching Adam and Harrison Smith, the defender on him. As you're going to see, Bryce is looking at that. He sees Harrison Smith slowly coming off Adam. Take a look. So now Bryce is like, perfect. I got Adam on the slant route. Doesn't have to worry about the middle of the field because the mic picked up TMJ. As you can see, this defender is going back. I mean, this is money, man. Now, why else do I like this play? Well, let's run it back real quick. Let's say on this play right here, Harrison goes man to man with Adam. Mike's going to pick up TMJ. Okay, perfect. We've got the drag underneath the DJ. So far, so good. A lot of different options. But let's run it back again. Let's say the mic doesn't pick up TMJ right there. Let's say this defender drops down right there. Let's say instead the mic blitzes. All right, perfect. We got Ian Thomas right there for that, baby. Right? Take a look right here. Ian Thomas right there. Let's say the mic hits the other hole. Bam! We got Miles right there. We could swing Ian Thomas out there on a cover two. Force him to come down, bang, bang, corner out over the top. Or you swing a background, you hit Miles over there, man. Like I said, I love this formation. Let's keep it going. Let's check out the next play. On this play, guys, I'm mixed. We're going to break it down. Let's just say I'm mixed on this play. Let me break down what I'm talking about. So the first person I want to look at is Ian Thomas right here. We have a burst release to the outside. Take a look right here. All right, Bryce gets it. Burst release to the outside. Now I'm thinking he's going to set this pick route. Bang, bang, that's six on the board, right? Doesn't have to worry about the safety. The safety's picking up Adam. That doesn't happen. So what happens next? Ian Thomas is just going to take this thing upfield as you're going to see. Now I do, and I don't love this, right? If this was the plan all along, why not get inside leverage? Him not getting inside leverage allows the DB to pretty much blanket him. If he were to get inside leverage right here, he could use that big body right there give Bryce an easier target. Now maybe, maybe he was trying to set the pick route right there and Hayden took this out too far. That's definitely a possibility. But if we circle back to the inside leverage, what's gonna happen is single high safety here, right? It's gonna force him to choose. Does he go back here and pick up Ian Thomas inside leverage or go down low and pick up Adam underneath? Those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I think this play it could have been better potentially, but you know what? It happens. Let's keep this thing going. So in the last play, it was second and goal. This play, it's third and goal. I don't hate this play, right? I don't I don't hate this play, but again, it goes back to timing. Just like on the last play, timing, right? So how could the Panthers potentially improve this play? Well, if the screen is the only read right here, I'm taking out Ian Thomas. When I take out Ian Thomas, I'm putting in a receiver over here. Okay, why would I do that? Well, when I do that, we're going to run a quad set over here. The guy I replaced for Ian Thomas right here, we're going to run a jet sweep. So we're running quad set, jet sweep, wide receiver screen. What that's going to potentially do is take this in and force him to potentially crash down, right? On top of that, by taking out Ian Thomas, receiver over here, we still keep our blocks ahead and allows the tackle and the guard to get out. But let's say the jet sweep doesn't work. What are we doing instead? Or what are the other options? I'm probably running RPO especially if you see how the Vikings are lined up, right? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you put the running back over here, we run the RPO, the end has contained. He's going to be less likely inclined to go after the quarterback from the jump, knowing he has to contain the read option. That allows the passing lane right here to be open, and I think you might have a slightly better result. Let me know what you guys think, though. Let's keep it going. 
on this play right here, Panthers RPO, little stick right right there, and it all goes back to timing. Just not there. And honestly, this was the perfect play again. Here's why. The reason I love this play right here is because TMJ does a great job taking the DB to the outside. Now let's say the safety comes up. All right, we run that hitch route. He's not picking that up. Let's say the mic comes over here. He's not picking up that hitch route either. This was the perfect play once again, man. The perfect play. The timing is just off. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, the Panthers draw up another great play call. Let's break down why, man. This was textbook. Let's break it down. So as you're going to see pre-snap, most likely man-to-man, -man, he's coming up on Adam. He's following Team Jake and went in motion. All right, what's next? Well, watch Adam right here. He's going to get inside release. Take a look right here. Boom. He gets inside release. Now watch what he does with the DB on him, right? Crashes him into that defender. So now the hitch route right here is going to be open, right? You got Hayden, little hitch route. Boom, boom. Adam, a slant route over the top. I mean, this is money. Look how much separation there is for both of them. The hitch route is open. The slant route is open. DJ down here does a great job. A little whip route. Take a look. Boom, boom. He's open. Everything is open, man. Good stuff right there. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, the only word I'm going to say is timing, 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 man. Once again, another great play call. So as we take a look at this play pre-snap, could definitely be man-to-man, -man, right? Or it could be cover four. We don't know for sure. But as the play develops, Bryce sees them in a cover two. He's going to drop down. Now Bryce is going to watch him. Is he going to pick up the corner route right here or the flat route underneath? He goes underneath. As you're going to see right here, the corner route should be money. DB sips right here are going this way. He's watching underneath. This should be money. But once again, man, that timing is just off. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. Now we're going to jump into the last drive. Let's start with first and goal right here. As you're going to see, this play looks pretty similar to the one we saw earlier in the red zone. Let's take a look at this. So what exactly is similar? We'll watch Hayden Hurst. Now, Ian Thomas isn't going to have that burst release to the outside like we saw before, but we still have that web route. Now, this is what I want to focus on right here. Why is this Bryce Young's only read? And the reason I say that is because Hayden Hurst running a whip route is going to take probably three to three and a half seconds. If you don't believe me, let's count, guys. So once the ball is snapped, we're going to count together. All right. One, two, three, four. I don't hate the whip route. However, if this is Bryce's only read, come on, man. That can't be it. A whip route from Hayden... No disrespect to Hayden. I love that they added Hayden to the team. But put Adam. Put DJ over there. Give somebody a chance. They're going to run it in a second or less. I don't understand this, guys. Let's check out the next play. Now we're going to jump to second down right here. And unfortunately, man, Hubbard just misses the block. I don't know if he thought Ian Thomas right here was going to pick up the edge guy right here. But unfortunately, man, Hubbard just misses that right there. That's not good. Let's jump to third down. So now we're on to third down. And this play really shocked me for a couple of reasons. We're going to break down why, guys. Adam's open in the end zone. And Bryce tells him to go to the other side for what? I don't know what happened, man. Let's break it down real quick. As you guys saw, they brought TMJ to help out with pass protection. All right, that makes sense. They're going to send two receivers out. Adam and DJ right there. Watch what Adam does right here to this DB, man. Whoop, on that sluggo route. Adam is wide open, right? He is wide open. So unfortunately, I got to say this one's on Bryce. Adam is wide open. I'm not sure what else Bryce wanted right here. We just saw the first three downs right here, man. It's fourth down, do or die. We need this to have a chance, and he gets sacked. Let's talk about it real quick. As we break this play down, my only thing is where's the extra help when it comes to pass protection? It's fourth down, it's do or die, we need this play. There's no extra pass protection, right? They try and have Tommy chip the DB right there. That doesn't work. No running back on the backfield. Nobody on the line, as you're going to see right here. I don't know what they were thinking. On top of that, you see the middle safety all the way over here. Now, yes, a defender could pull from here. That's fine. But the middle safety, as of right now, pre-snap, he's all the way over here. Why not put Tommy on the line, allow him to chip the DB? I mean, worst case, the DB doesn't blitz after he gets chipped, but let's say he does. That's going to force this defensive back to choose. Pick up Tommy or pick up the outside receiver. At least give Bryce a chance. I don't know what they were thinking. Stay tuned though, guys. More content coming soon. I do think they're on the right track, man, but the timing is just off right now. I'll catch you guys on the next one.